and his opponent, Cajun Johnson. So let me tell you a little bit about him. He grew up on a very small reservation in a very small village called Burns Lake in British Columbia. He lived there until he was kicked out of high school, the only high school in the village. And he moved to Prince George to live with his dad, Granville Johnson. While living in Prince George, he was introduced to mixed martial arts. At the time there, it was called NHB, No Holds Barred, and began what would become his career. As you can probably tell by the way he's gyrating up the ring, he also dabbles in acting, modelling, and most importantly, an aspiring rap career. Was once ranked 11th in Canada as a boxer, holds a brown belt in BJJ under Bibiano Fernandez. Let's take a look at another bit of trigonometry. Here we go, Cajun Johnson. Great stab, amazing ability. I like his style. Whenever he puts a hand on you, he tries to offset your body. He pushes the head down into the foot as he brings it up to kick. Brings his hands behind the head, brings his head down as he tries to knee you. This is what he does the entire fight. He's always trying to move your head in his punches and kicks and then has amazing hip control and always trying to put a guy right on his face. What a great position. Cajun Johnson is very strong, has great ability, and this, I think, is going to be Richie Wilkie's biggest test so far. They tell the tape here between Rage and Cajun and Ron Weasley. Richie Whitson, 11 and 1 versus 18, 11 and 1. Two years the elder is Cajun. Two inches the taller, slightly leaner, but a huge four inch reach advantage to Rage and Cajun Johnson. Our HDNet fight guide, striking to Johnson, ground game Johnson, speed Johnson, strength even, endurance goes the way of Richie Whitson. Rajan Cajun certainly are happy to be here. He's only lost two of his last 13 fights since moving to Vancouver. Trains at many gyms in Vancouver and has some of the best coaches in town. He's trained the likes of Bill Mahood, Kultar Gill, Viviano Fernandez, as I said, works his boxing with Tony Pep, who's well known to Canadian boxing fans. Bounds over the top ropes into a somersault perfect 10 let's throw it up to jason gregor this fight is presented by tap out energy drink strong enough for the toughest fighters in the world three rounds of the mfc lightweight division your referee is kyle cardinal introducing first fighting out of the black corner he stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 155.2 pounds with a record of 11 wins and one loss Fighting out of Temecula, California, Richie Hellboy Whitson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall and weighed in at 154.6 pounds with a record of 18 wins and 11 losses and one draw. Fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Raging Cajun Johnson! Cajun over here. Richie. Okay guys, you both know the rules, so I want a good clean fight at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch them up, go back to the corner. We are ready for our yeah, semi-main right, event yeah. in the lightweight right. division. Right, Three rounds of action, Cajun Johnson at plus 195, Richie Whitson at minus 245. Folks, if you've got to make a you coffee, ready? don't do it now. If you've got to you go ready? to a toilet, girls, put do a cork in it, boys tie a knot in it. This is a fight you do not want to miss. Let's see who gets off the first salvo here. Both men fantastic on their feet. Both can sustain enormous punishment. It's Whitson goes for the outside fight. Cage with the head kick, Muay Thai clinch. No effect of the knees. High left round kick, high right round kick, straight right hand from Raging Cage. Wow, Raging Cage got some good hand placement so far. Not very strong punches, but definitely hit Whitson right on the button a couple times. Whitson is a human sponge. He can absorb enormous punishment. Look at the head movement early on here from Cajun Johnson. 
Nice right hand down the tube. Smack bang to the kisser. Whitson for mine, Frank, has his chin dropped a little high. I'd like to see him looking through his brow. His hands are, his head is high, his chin is high, and his hands are a little bit spread for a guy like Cajun Johnson who's got great aim. He's going to split right between that space. You can see the bending on his, on his nose already. Double leg here from Whitson. No effect of the tank time. Where does Cajun go from here? He's got to keep peeling those hands. He's got to get attack that head. Either turn himself all the way back in and go for a guillotine, or keep reaching back to peel, those, peel his hands and push the head back in front. Fantastic effort to stay vertical here for Cage and John Santa. Oh, he's got a good counter going. Johnson's going to sprawl out. He's going to lift Wits Wits his hips up. On the ground for the first time. And look at the pass, but the ropes are in the way there for Cage and John Santa. He's Puts an arm around over. those banana trunks, takes the back here. This is not where you want to be against Cage and John Santa. He can put you to sleep quicker than Dr. Conrad Murray. Nice knee to the back of the thigh, the hamstring area. Oh, and one up to the gluteus maximus. We call it a butt knee. This is solid work from Cage and Johnson oh, Frank. Oh, suplex! Almost he tried for it Miata style. He had it, and Woodson got it smart, put it, hooked his toes behind his legs so he couldn't lift him all the way up in the air. Good counter by Woodson, but still ends up underneath. He needs to get himself back up on his feet. And again takes it back. What an explosive first round. We told you earlier this could be the show stealer of the night so far. It is living up to the height. Good job by Johnson. He's got a leg in. Nice tight power half on the backside. Keeping his knees behind. Look how tight his knees are. He's staying right up the center of the body so he doesn't slide off. Now he's got a hold of both legs. He's going to split them out and try to bring them down flat. Cajun Johnson got him tied up like a ball of twine. Here in the first round. Whitson surviving. Good job by Whitson, controlling the arms, trying to keep it off his back, but he's expending a lot of energy. He's been mainly defensive this entire round. Takes a lot of energy from a guy like Whitson, who's used to being offensive. It's very difficult. Can he finish him now? It's not a good choke. It's tight. Not yet. The sponge absorbs a little more. Under two minutes remaining here in the first, and can a Cajun reset, cranking on the chin now. Is Whitson in trouble here, Frank? He's in a little bit of trouble, but it's so loose. He's got his chin down. He's got it tucked. It's not going to really pass him out. But it's one of those pressure things where you get a hold of the jaw and pass the jaw. Wow. Have a look great. at this. Cajun mounts him. That is That was a great jiu-jitsu right there. He's right from the back, right down top. Perfect mount. Let's him slide underneath him. See how he didn't keep it tight. He let Richie go because he wants to get the back again. And he flattened him out here. Gonna soften him up a little, turns back in and mounts once more for Cajun. Takes the back here again, puts those hooks in, flattens him out. Is this the beginning of the end? Yes, I think so. His chin's up now. He's got to cut in. It was. It's over. It's raging, Cajun Johnson. He had no, Richie had no answer for anything. He got completely dominated from the very beginning, partly because he had his chin up, his hands are separated. He kept trying to go after it, and then when he got on the ground, he had spent so much energy just trying to get Johnson off of him, he couldn't do anything. Every time he stood up, every time he changed positions, Johnson had an answer for everything. It was great to watch. Johnson's got a smooth, smooth ground game and an amazing stand-up game. Frank, when was the last time you saw a fight card where everyone on the card, everyone has come to bring it in big style? You know, it's been a long time. It's been some major events. Even at the UFC, I really haven't seen any big pieces like that as of late because guys getting there so deep. You see, Rich, this is now the fifth attempt at this rear naked choke. He's got him caught in there, and now at this point, he has his body turned. There's no way for the chin to duck underneath. His chin is up, he's caught, it's finished. There's really no way from the battling. He's kind of stuck in a position where he can't even get his hips underneath him. What a great position. He's so smart, such a good job, and, and really, really, every single guy here tonight brought it. Every single guy. I think the last time, you know, the closest other fight we've had as of late was the last legacy fight in the that really brought it as well. But these guys here tonight, Mark Thomas has done such a great job here at Maximum Fighting to make it work. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kyle Cardle stops this bout at 3.52 of round one after Richie Whitson taps out due to a rear naked choke. The winner of this match, KJ Johnson. Fantastic performance. First round submission of the highest order for Rajan, Cajun Johnson. Jason's got Cajun now.
We are here with the winner, Cajun Johnson. Well, just a dominating performance for you. Just give me your thoughts. Is that the exact way you wanted it? Just wanted to play out? I didn't know, man. I really didn't know. I had a feeling you might want to take me down. Uh, at least after I opened up and showed my striking ability. Some people discount me as a striker. Some people discount me on the ground. But I hope you guys know, don't discount me anywhere, man. I can go everywhere. MMA, baby, MMA. We're gonna take a look. I want you to look at the highlights here. I want you to talk us through it because you were just relentless. You never wanted to give up his back. Yeah, well, I'm trained by Viviano Fernandez. I'm a brown belt under him. And if you know one good thing about that little monkey, you don't want him on your back. So I try to just uh, imitate his style as best as I can. Farad gave me some stuff that really worked for keeping his back. We knew he would try to stand up and give it to me. So as soon as he gives it, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it home with me. What's next for you? Who do you want to see? Uh, well, I know I want on the next show because as well as MFC does for us, we're still broke. Well, at least I am. So I want on the next show so I can make some more money. And uh, I know I, McKee's already booked on that show. So what can I say? I'm not taking him next, but I'd love to might fight Marcus Davis. Like, Pav don't like him too much from what I hear, but come on. Fans want to see it, I know they do. Well, there you go, boys. Marcus Davis, Cajun Johnson, who knows? Frank, the voice, back to you. Thank you, Jason. Never without a word, Ragin' Cajun Johnson. Raging. Folks, we've got plenty of action coming your way on HTML.